Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Slasher Scotty. I am your host, Scotty McCoy, and boy, do I have a surprise for all of you. I have on Zoom with me right now Orlando Rodriguez, and he is was a photographer in the film 13 Fanboy. Hey, Orlando, how are you doing? Good, good, Scotty. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm so glad to have you on. Um, the first question I got for you is, how did you get your start into acting and filmmaking? So... Uh, the way that I started was through Deborah Voorhees, basically, when she started the, the project for 13 Fanboy. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so when she started the Indiegogo campaign, yeah. I was one of the first people to go ahead and say, yes, I will do it. Nice. You know? Yeah. And so I, I gave the uh, dollar contribution amount so I can have a role in it. Mm -hmm. And so basically I, I got cast in it. Nice. Um, you know, I mean, when I was in, you know, when I was in basically elementary school, I had a love for like, you know, theater and my seventh grade teacher, his name was, his name is Mr. Randazzo. He basically gave us the love of acting because mm -hmm. we put on a show uh, in my seventh grade year uh, of uh, elementary school, it was uh, the Mikado. So we had to dress up like Japanese mm -hmm. men and women. Right. So it was right. fun. I had a great awesome. time with that. That's awesome. So um, for those unaware, what is 13 Fanboy about? Uh, 13 Fanboy uh, reunites a lot of the cast members from Friday 13th and also D. Wallace, who was in uh rob zombies halloween mm -hmm. uh it has deborah Voorhees from friday 13 part five tracy tracy savage from friday 13 part uh part three mm -hmm. uh um ron sloan from part five as well uh uh kane so, hodder yeah. uh and uh cj graham mm -hmm. uh vincent desanti from um from never hike alone Mm -hmm. uh, which is, you know, a great movie and Never Hike Alone too. I heard is great is great as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, and he brought on uh, new cast members like uh, Haley Greenbauer and um, Andrew Lighty. Mm -hmm. And so then, of course, it brought on, uh, you know, uh, people who've never really been in acting before, like myself, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and it, it uh, takes place... Um, uh, what happens basically is that there's a, a a demented fan who has taken his love of horror movies a little bit too far. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically, he wants to go ahead and replicate the, uh, basically replicate or even better the the death scenes mm -hmm. of the Friday Thirteenth cast, you know, yeah, uh, or alumni, however you want to go ahead and call them. So what um, what he does is basically he stalks them and mm -hmm. you know he he uh, you know dispatches them if you want to call it <laughs> uh, one by one. Uh, right. But uh, it's a great movie. I I really had fun uh, mm -hmm. being on on the set of Thirteen Fanboy and uh, you know got to meet a lot of great people. Absolutely. So tell us about the scene that you were in in the movie. So my scene is basically, um, so um, what's her name from um, Friday 13th Part 7? Uh, uh, Jennifer Lark uh, Park Lincoln. Lark Park Lincoln, yeah. So Lark Park Lincoln has gone missing. Mm -hmm. And so uh, there's a memorial set up for her um, at her house. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Haley Greenbauer shows up and she is basically convinced that something bad has happened to uh to Lar park lincoln right so uh what happens is that she's basically you know she kneels down in front of the of the memorial that's been set up for for uh for Lar park lincoln well there's this of course you know uh, I play the Gail Weathers of <laughs> 13 Fanboy, you know, sticking my nose where it doesn't belong. Right. And so basically what I want is a shot of, of Haley Greenbauer's character. 
you know, so uh, while she's, you know, mourning and distracted, I go ahead and decide to start taking pictures of her, you mm -hmm. know, um, and uh, and basically that's that's what I that's what my scene is, basically, you know, being the paparazzi yeah. or Gail Weathers of uh, Thirteen Fanboy, you know, yeah, uh, um, you know. I can't say, you know, a lot of people has already seen that they know whether I lived or died, you know. Right. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't want to go ahead and give it on the show, uh, away on the show, because, right. you know, there's some people who haven't seen it. Right. And, uh, uh, but uh, my character was, you know, uh, what I like about my character is that he's not a main guy mm -hmm. in the movie. Yeah. But the way that they go ahead and they show me on the camera makes you think, could he be the killer? <laughs> you have to watch the movie to see it. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so speaking of Haley Greenbauer, what was it like working with her? She is, I want to go ahead and the word that comes out uh, or pops up in my mind is she's a sweetheart. She's, okay. she's like, I see, Sorry about that. That was my kitchen timer saying that. Um, yeah, I'm I'm making chicken wings while I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, she's a darling. She's a sweetheart. Those are the words that come out to me. Do I see her as a possible future screen queen? I do. She has talent. She has a love for the horror uh, genre, and I can see her if if they decide to go ahead and make Thirteen Fanboy Two. I could see her coming back into it. So nice, nice. And I, I was was it Jason? I think it was Jason Bradford. I was talking to about this. Uh, mm -hmm. We were talking about potential sequels, and Thirteen Fanboy Two would be pretty cool. But I think it would be really neat is to do a Thirty One Fanboy and make it on Halloween. So that I'm would gonna... be that would be something <laughs> that 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 you know, and, and that's something that you could probably go ahead and bring out bring up to Deborah. I have her on the show yeah. next month. Uh, oh really? Yeah. Okay. Well, you should bring it up to her because it's not yep. a bad idea. Yeah. Um, uh, I think that you know, with 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 the thirty first of October, you know, um, you know, screw the title Halloween. You know, it's it's right. been done many of yeah. times. Let's find another title for something regarding to Halloween. Yeah. I mean, Halloween. You know, sometimes you know when when I'm walking down the street on Halloween. I mean, I do look over my shoulder, you know, because yeah. you never know who's behind. Right. You know, yeah, so. and I know like, I, I was doing the same thing when I did my first uh, full feature and I named it Samhain, otherwise known as Sam Hain. And okay. that was, and I, I took a lot of inspiration from Halloween, Halloween 2, Friday the 13th, mm -hmm. but I made it my own story. And uh, okay. I, I wanted to do something Halloween esque and, you know, mm -hmm. where it's beautiful leaves, autumn, winter, you know. Mm -hmm. Woody Weathers, the pumpkins, candy, all that stuff, trick or treating. Mm -hmm. So that's where I can, and I figure, well, what title hasn't really been done? Halloween has been done, and not just been done, but been done to death. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's it's been it's been beat to death. What, yes. you know, no pun intended. You know, right? Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, do I do, do I like the last Halloween movie? Yes, I right. do. A lot yeah. of people say no, no, no. I mean, but you know, my thing is that. You know, you said you did Sam Hain, correct? Okay, so the thing is that you took a chance on something. Yeah. You weren't just going ahead and bashing a movie. Exactly. You know, you know, you decided to go ahead and say, hey, you know what? I could probably do something better yeah. than yeah. what has already come out. And yeah. that's what that's that's what needs to happen in today's real world. Exactly. You know, don't just bash a movie and say, oh, it sucked. You know, right. well, then if it sucked, do something about it right make it make it better, it, make it better. do it right. make, you know make the movie if you didn't like this movie make a movie that you want to see and right make that happen because not a lot of people can make a movie it's not easy to make a movie it's not cheap right. to make a movie. right i spent about six grand on sam hain and it doesn't even look like it but i spent six grand on the movie and it was my oh. own money because we didn't have an indiegogo at the time oh wow yeah, you know, so, and, yeah. And, and that's you know my, my hat's off to deborah because the thing is that yeah. You know, she she went ahead and she bought different people from different locations across the United States, Canada, you know, yeah. and she basically made 
she wanted her her dream made and yeah. she did it but the thing is that she also included us in that dream and that's yeah. the important part you know right so that i like how she used the title of 13 fanboy and she used all of the people involved like from friday the 13th in that mm -hmm. but she also utilized the one word in that title and that was the fan and she right. brought the fans involved right and Maybe. you know to 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 even though it's called 13 fanboy this is not a fan film this is an indie uh an indie horror uh meta slasher you right. know and it's technically an original i mean it brings a lot of the cast back but it's not a friday the 13th film it is no, a film with the cast from friday the 13th but it's yeah. its own film mm -hmm. yeah so she yeah so she did a great job with that Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. And then the uh, you know, after after Thirteen Fanboy, I did go ahead and work with um, with Hayden, uh, who's also going to be on your show. Yeah, I saw that on Facebook. Yep. Second time we'll have her on. Yeah, I'm sorry. Second time we'll have him on. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Very nice. Uh, I was in Reunion from Hell, the first one. Nice. And I played. Uh, um, Oh, I, I played a detective on there. Um, nice. And basically, it was through the Indiegogo campaign as well uh, that I got th that I got, you know, nice. to be part of the cast. Mm -hmm. So I, I drove from Aurora, Illinois, where I live, down to um, Lexington, Kentucky. Wow. That's like five hours. Yeah, I, I actually got a part in Reunion from Hell too. Uh, Hayden asked me if I want a uh, main role in the movie. Um, okay. However, I had a drop because of COVID. Mm -hmm. um, but um, it, I'm in Maryland, and it was going to be about, and I, we were filming it in the mountains of Tennessee. It was okay. going to be a oh, long wow. drive. Yes, yes. Yeah. My character, Detective Shivers, is my name in yeah. in, uh, in uh, Reunion from uh, Hell. Reunion from Hell. And basically that character, what he does is that he interrogates uh, Hayden, Hayden's character, Riley, and her brother, because he doesn't believe that, you know, that she's so innocent. Okay. You know, he, uh, you know, he, she, you know, uh, so, um, but, and that's, that's basically, you know, my character, um, it's good to have more than one line in the movie. Absolutely. Uh, but, you know, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm glad to see that they're doing a part two. Yep. Uh, I, I would love it if they do a part three that they go ahead and bring back my character, you know, for, uh, for a little bit more because, um, you know, uh, I just think that's an open, yeah. uh, an open character who can yeah. go ahead and I'm going to tell you something. I I I love doing these Indiegogo movies. You know mm -hmm. that uh, these indie, indie horror movies. Yeah. Um. And so, um, uh, I have a third project that's okay. waiting the wings with uh with Tom Walton, who's a, a a great guy. Okay. You know. Um, and it's called Camp of Terror. Okay. Uh, it's it's you know he's going to go ahead and do another Indiegogo campaign. Uh, I think either this month or next month. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Yeah. But uh, I am in Camp of Terror. Nice. Now, uh, the reason why I did want to go ahead and be in Camp of Terror is because I want to get killed off. <laughs> that's, awesome. that's the best part of being in a horror movie. Yes, that's the best part of being in a horror movie. So, you know, even though, yes, yeah, sure, you do want to go ahead and survive, you know, but I mean... There's probably nothing better than a good oh you know get, getting slashed and right. uh, you know diced you know into pieces yeah. or something. Right, so. and I, and I know with um, I know like with Rooney from Hell two. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's officially going to be a three. That's probably going to be one of my questions to Hayden just to see if I could get any feelers. Right, um, right. But uh, part two, I know that they probably didn't bring you back your character because where they were filming was all the way up in the mountains of a mm -hmm. different area because they yeah. went away for Christmas for a reunion where mm -hmm. everything starts up again. Um, and I heard I was supposed to be involved in where they were filming. It's mm -hmm. like a very deep hill that you lose signal immediately. And it actually, there's a yeah. sign there that says 
don't uh, don't use your GPS. It will not bring you here. <laughs> and most people that I interviewed for the show, their uh -huh. GPS did not take them there. It made them go get totally lost. The one one person I had, I forget who it was off the top of my head that said this. I can't remember. It was recent. Um, he said that he uh, uses GPS and he was taking an Uber. And uh, the GPS and the, I mean, him and the Uber driver were driving around for 45 minutes looking mm -hmm. for when they got off the main road, looking for the place to go up the hill. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, oh my God. You yeah. Know, it, I don't know where in Tennessee is. If it, it was, if it was in the Rocky and the, um, I'm not Rocky Mountains, excuse me, the, um, Appalachians, Smoky Mountains. If it Smoky was, up I think Smoky. it was the Smoky Mountains. Oh God! You know, I'm supposed to go out to the Smoky Mountains in July, nice. from the eighth through the fifteenth, because I'm having a family reunion out there. Nice. So, um, you know, with my cousins and everything, but uh, it's a breathtaking area. Yep. You know? um, I mean, I'm like excited about yeah. you know going to the Rocky Mountains, and if I was able to go ahead and be in a movie in the Rocky Mountain in the there I go again, <laughs> not Rocky Mountains, uh, the uh, Smoky Mountains, it would be something, you know, I mean, I could just smell yeah. the, you know, the air and yeah. if they have a campfire, you know, there's nothing like a good old campfire at night and you get the smell of smoke, Absolutely. you know, until it blows into your face and then just like, forget it, you know, <laughs> but, uh, you know, one, uh, and I'm going to tell you something with, with my roles in 13 Fanboy and Reunion from Al and pretty soon Camp of Terror, what I like is that you know, a lot of uh, a lot of directors, producers, they're taking, you know, a, a more open uh, chance with right. people of the LGBTQ yep. community. Yeah. You know, hence, you know, my T-shirt. Yep. You know, um, which uh, I, you know, I mean, I'm I'm a gay man, and yep. I I love, you know, that the horror genre has been more open. Yeah. About having a character who's gay. Yep. Before, back in the day, it was, you know, right. uh, if, uh, and you were, if you were African American, you were the first one to go, yep. you know, and then Hispanics. And then, <laughs> which, yep. you know, and now the LGBTQ uh, community, yep. now they don't kill us off as fast as, they, as we would <laughs> desire. Yeah. But at least we're around for a little yeah. bit more. And I've been very open about this as well. I don't know if you heard of this at all, but I'm part of the LGBTQ community as well. I'm gay as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I was actually uh, playing a uh, gay lead role in Ruin from Hell 2. I was supposed to do like a nude scene and all that. And I was in a relationship, but uh, because I had a drop and she ended up writing out the characters. But uh, mm -hmm. I'm part of the community and I completely agree. I, I'm so glad that they... Um, you know, they include them more and not as stereotypical roles, but right. actual well, I, I, too bad that too bad that you're not going to be in it, that your uh, role yeah. was, you know, because I was going to go ahead and get my binoculars and just go like, OK, let me see. Is that <laughs> <the news? laughs> Absolutely. And yeah. uh, as, as a matter of fact, before I came on, I saw you dancing to It's Raining Men. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just posted a cut. That was an older video I made. That was one of my better videos I made on TikTok. Uh, don't use okay. TikTok that much. I have TikTok and I have videos on there, but I mostly use Facebook Reels anymore. They're so much easier. So I get more views on there than I do. Like some of my views are at like 10, 20,000 views on, on uh, Facebook Reels, whereas my TikTok, I, I think one video is like a thousand. The rest to like 800 and 300 it's like really yeah you know and, and uh as a matter of fact tonight um uh i just started uh a relationship with someone nice and uh he lives he lives in milwaukee you know and yeah. um but i told him about the movies that i've been in you know that's one of the first things that i use them as icebreakers <laughs> you know, like, if they walk out the door i'm like okay next <laughs> yeah i did I, i've been in a relationship for almost four years now and i, I and my partner's actually in the bedroom now and i tell him all the time um like, like when we first met and everything like the first thing i was like is i'm a I, i'm a filmmaker i'm starting my first feature film i'm a new york times mm -hmm. best-selling author yeah 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 <laughs> so, you so, know, yeah, kind of you know the brag uh, <laughs> and his uh you know my 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 boyfriend his name is steve hey nice. steve if you if you watch this hi, hi steve <laughs> so um you know when i told him about it, he's like oh that's cool you know so yeah. If they do Camp of Terror, I'm planning on on uh, when I go out there, I'm gonna go ahead and take him with me so he can be. On That's the awesome. Me, That's know? awesome. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's it's always good to go ahead and share things like that. With Absolutely. Absolutely. 
Um, where, where are they filming Camp of Terror at? I don't know yet. That's yeah. it's TBD. So, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, so. Um, usually when they're in pre-production, that's you, those are usually the last things that they tidy up on is location right, and right. Uh, scheduling and all that stuff. Yeah. Right. You know, I'm, 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 you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to working with uh, Tom Walton because he did another movie recently and it was uh, really successful. I think it had, uh, it had uh, Scout Taylor Compton. Oh, nice. And, uh, and uh, it did really well. So, nice. you know, so I'm, awesome. I'm really looking forward to working with him. That's awesome. Yeah. It's good to have a prominent director who knows what to do in like a Debbie Sue Voorhees. I hate mm-hmm. it. Yeah. 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 like so, it's good to have that because then you know the film is going to get made yeah yeah so deborah if you see this too don't forget about me you know click 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 and, um, <laughs> uh, 13 fanboy or 31 fanboy however you want to call it Absolutely. and knock me out of there and kill me <laughs> <laughs> well speaking of debbie sue how was she as a director she you know what i like about uh debbie sue as a director that she takes she treats you as an equal person. She's not like, you did this wrong. You know, you, you, uh, we have to do it again, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, she basically came up and said, you know what? Uh, no, don't do it like this. Go ahead and do it this way, you know. But it wasn't like a, like a step to, step-by-step instruction. She just basically said, I want you to do it this way, do it this way. And, you know, she didn't go ahead and yell. She wasn't screaming. She wasn't getting angry, you know. And and I think that's what made me feel comfortable on the set of 13 Fanboy because, you know, she took her time in making sure that, you know, that her film was being done, but that we felt comfortable in our own skin. Nice. You know, so working with De- with, uh, with Deborah, um, it's, uh, it was... I'm going to say it was a magical, uh, magical moment because the thing is, I mean, when I watched Friday 13th part five years ago, I mean, I wouldn't have thought that I would ever go ahead and meet her. Right. And and so meeting her, you know, in person, it's not like watching her on the set of, uh, on the, you know, on a DVD of 13, of, uh, a Friday 13th part five, a new beginning, you know, it's totally different. She's, she's real. And I think that that's what a lot of, directors, producers, you know, they need to go ahead and do. They need to be real. Deborah Voorhees is a a good example of someone who's who's real, you know, and and so that's what I like. Yep, absolutely. Um so the last question I do got for you is like Indiegogo uh, crowdfunding campaigns are um, very important. They're a very prominent thing. Um, So do you have any um, advice for people that are, uh, that might want to donate that might be a little skeptical on why, on anything that they should do before they do decide to donate? I would say go ahead and take a chance on it because uh, how can I put this? You know, if, if you're skeptical about it, I mean, I understand there's people that you can't really trust out there right? because they go ahead and they do, they, they do it for scams, you know, um, you know, uh, um, as a, as a person who donated to 13 fanboy and, uh, reunion from hell and even camp of terror, I would say that go with people that you can obviously see that they are really about what they want to go ahead and do right. that they want to that they have passion for what they're doing mm-hmm. you know in in you know don't uh it, it's an opportunity that someone shouldn't pass by i don't regret it you know because yeah. uh you know just to say a little bit you know uh i uh i have heart issues you know yeah. and you know and other medical issues you know that that you know, I don't know if I'm going to be around for, you know, right. no one knows how long they're going to be around. But the way I look at it is that you're leaving a legacy mm-hmm. of yourself if you yeah. do it. Uh, and it's a great experience. You meet great people. Yeah. So, you know, if you're skeptical about doing uh, an Indiegogo campaign, you don't have to give thousands of dollars. You can yeah. just go ahead and give $5, $10, $20, you know, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Right. And the thing is that 
I never thought I would see my name on the big screen, yeah. you know, and I never saw, thought I would see my name eventually on the DVD when it comes out. Yeah. But it's good. It, 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 it happened. Is. And yeah. so now I can, you know, people, when they're like, you know, when they tell me, you know, oh, you know, what's this about? I'm like, and I explain it to them. Yeah. And then I, I, I tell them, look at the credits at the end and you'll mm -hmm. see my name. And yeah. I never thought I would have my name in the credit. So, you know, it's a blessing, Absolutely. you know, Absolutely. give it, a, you, you got to go ahead. You only live once and you got to go ahead and give it a try. You Absolutely. can't go ahead and, and go by ifs, ands, or buts. I mean, unfortunately, like I said, there are people out there who play games, yeah. but you know, it's I mean, like that. Everyone's like that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so I mean, um, so you know, if you made a if you made a movie, Scotty, trust me, I would go ahead and donate to your movie. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, we just uh, we're in post production for our next one seventy two. Our Indiegogo was last spring, actually. Mm -hmm. We're aiming at having a um, at having an Indiegogo um, for. Um, like for a post-production one we're not sure yet um mm -hmm. we're thinking about it um but uh that's nothing nothing's confirmed yet but i'll let you know once we uh do though if we do yeah definitely i mean you 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 know you can reach out to me on facebook anytime and awesome. you know i mean you have a new friend here so that's thank the important so much. i appreciate it awesome well you have a great rest of your night orlando i thank you so much for joining me thank you thank you for awesome. having me on not a problem you have a great rest of your night all right you too Okay, bye. Bye, everyone.